I'm Robert Smith. Um, I'm the president of the uh, Mornington Netball Football Club. So it's been an exciting season for 2017. We had to change our club culture because, again, we we've always been probably specifically more about a male football club. The best thing we have done as a club is introduce women's football. It's been more exciting to have the girls come along and join our club, and uh, it's been an inspiration for the club itself to go forward in this direction. They started winning and they went right through and won the grand final, which was absolutely inspirational. To their credit, they had a really good coach in Gary, a great culture with the girls. Uh, they're all good friends and they already look after each other and they wanted to win and they had the desire to win. Hi, I'm Wiz. I play for the Mornington women's football team. Uh, I didn't really play when I was too young. My parents were really against women or girls then playing football. Um, didn't want me to get hurt. Play a lot of outside of football with all the boys from school and outside of schools. Got, got invited to come and play for Mornington last year. Playing in the development team this year. Uh, meeting all the new girls again and watching them grow. Watching the experience grow on each and every one of them. So proud to be a part of the development team. My name is Vicky Sanford, I am 21 years of age and I am a co-captain of the Mornington Senior Women's side and I've been playing football for three seasons. Hi, I'm Amanda Davidson, I'm 30 years young, I'm captain of the reserves Mornington uh, women's football team. I'm helping coach on the sidelines while I'm currently injured. This is my second season back at football. Gary Sanford is not only my father but is also the coach of our senior women's football team and also helps out a lot with the reserves, putting them all together. We were always around footy and he's just been a really massive role model for the both of us and Amanda. Um, not only in footy but also in life. He was always there pushing us along, um, making us strive to be the best person that we can and always told us that if you work hard at what you want to achieve um, you'll eventually get there. Hello my name is Gary Sanford, I'm the senior coach of the Mornington's two women's teams. I have four daughters, uh, three of them that have all played football. Vicky is uh, my youngest daughter, played and is this, this year's and last year's captain. Amanda my eldest played last year and unfortunately in the third round did a ACL so uh, she's been out for the season and Fiona's playing her first year of footy. I had previously been involved with Vic's football. She got me involved with the youth girls uh, on the Mornington Peninsula for a couple of years. I didn't make the team. It was uh, Vicky's friends, word of mouth. The club organised a information night upstairs and I think we had about 22, 23 people there. We even had uh, Sarah and Jess uh, Hosking who are now both playing AFL. I probably instigated a lot of it with the fact that I wanted to get back into playing footy. My drive was to make sure that there is a, um, there is a spot where girls can be playing footy uh, at a senior level over the age of 18 and somewhere that's close. The strength of the senior side is that the girls and coaches and everyone, their talk and communication is really strong. The girls just seem to want to be there all the time and it's really positive um, amongst the side. Um, pressure for the senior side to win another premiership, in my opinion, a little bit. Um, it's been a pretty stressful year trying to work out how it's going to go with seniors and reserves having two sides, but th this season with the seniors doing so well, um, it's kind of expected that we do perform. We're looking pretty strong when it comes to who we can beat and who we can't. The girls are so good, they're so strong, they're ready to hit the finals really hard. I've got a lot of faith and a lot of trust in my team members, so I know if, um, you know, if I happen to fumble or something like that, someone will be there to back me up, and I think that's a really good thing about our team this year is we have built a lot of trust between us. I think that'll take us far going into the finals. Particularly watching the reserves and that today, I want to know how can you help them to get a little bit uh, stronger, a little bit more skill based in whatever they're doing. Players like uh, Bridget, the start of the season came, never played footy before and wasn't sure about going out on the ground. Uh, through training and hard work she's going to be a very very good footballer. I think we've got about 17 or 18 players that have never played senior football before. So we've got about I think we've got six players that played in our senior side last year that are making up part of that reserve team. Megan Cahill, um, who are coming back into footy and uh, really enjoying it. Um, they're actually, you know, really driving a lot of the leadership in the in the reserves team. The fact that we've been able to get two teams, we've had almost 60 players register for um, the both both sides um, jointly. I think that's just blown everyone's um, expectations away.
So the strength of the reserves, I think, is um, it's about their communication. They're out there having fun. It's like this camaraderie. Um, they get around each other. When someone even kicks, you know, the only goal of the whole game for our team, everyone gets up and everyone celebrates, and that's something that's it's pretty special. You know, the potential for the reserves, their skills are improving, their confidence is improving, so they're going to be able to, you know, already kick the ball well and handball and have a bit more uh, awareness of what things. They'll be much stronger next year. They always like the music pumping pretty loud and get a bit of dance moves going in, especially Laura Noonan. <laughs> It's a really hyped up, really motivated time at the start of the games. For me, when I select a team, if I had a, a group of players that actually were vocal, and encouraging and constructive on the ground, they would have a big, big tick as far as getting selection. You want to have a reasonably good team balance. This should be the day that we play and start to play the best footy that we can because we want it, right? This is our opportunity. Let's get out there and show it. My expectations of the, of the game really started at the start of the season when I addressed all the players. It's not about winning finals, it's not about winning premierships, it's about having a group of players that want to play football and enjoy playing football, but at the start of the season if I can walk away at the end of the season and know that each individual player has improved and the team has improved, then I think I've done a reasonable job. My name's Caitlin Meaden and I play for the reserves. Yeah, I wasn't surprised but I was just, I think, overly really stoked with how inviting and um, inclusive everyone was. Everyone was sort of like forced you into that very friendly <laughs> culture. I think when you can sort of step back and look at some of the other teams that we play and really appreciate how good the culture is that we have at Mornington. The team is definitely a massive family. You can't really have a family without having your goods and your bad, so we definitely go through those. You love watching their successes and uh, you love watching some of their their difficulties and their failures and, and how they cope with it. A lot of these friends of Vic and Lizzie, Lizzie Muir, um, Speedy and Kayla, um, they're almost like second daughters. Every, everyone that's young that's come through the group, it's, it's been the same. Um, the team is really supportive not only on the field but mainly off the field. The girls get around each other in this team. Not only is it really important to myself but being the captain is really truly uh, precious to me. For me, for it to be successful, uh, it's about being part of the family. The family within the 40, 50 odd players, but then we've got to be part of the bigger family of the Mornington Footy Club. One word I'd describe this team and club is family.